the first time I came to South Africa, I was completely unprepared. I had no idea of the extent of the epidemic. It was staggering. Every year, 1.8 million people die of HIV. And if you do the math, that's 5,000 people a day. Before I started working on HIV, I was working on spam filtering. I actually invented the spam filter. The first thing that happened when we invented the spam filter was that spammers started working around our filter. One of the problems with HIV is that it's continuously evolving. When I came to HIV, it was sort of the same thing. We had our immune systems, like a spam filter, trying to block HIV, and then HIV mutating to get around the immune system. So we had the idea, let's do the same thing. Let's go after the Achilles heel of HIV. My name is Purity. I live in South Africa. In this particular part of South Africa, among young women, the infection rates go from less than 1% at age 15 to almost two-thirds of the women being infected by the age of 22 or 23. I thought my life was over. Usually, people told us that if you HIV positive, you're dead. So first of all, we want to find out where our immune system is attacking HIV. And we do this with a program that we've developed called Phylo-D. And so what we're doing is cataloging these fragments of HIV that are vulnerable to attack by the immune system. There's so much data being generated that it requires massive computing power. If you were to do these computations on a single machine, it would take years. But at Microsoft, we have thousands and thousands of machines that can work in parallel to get the job done and we do it in a matter of hours. So when David sent me the results of his computations in an Excel sheet, it has reduced this huge data set to 20 significant observations. So I now know where to start with my research in the lab. I think the beauty of that collaboration is that he has this knowledge and can adapt the programs as we need them. If somebody was able to create a vaccine, I think that will be great for, for the whole world, yeah. So I've done a lot of collaborations in my life, but this one with HIV is very special. I firmly believe this is a solvable problem, and I and many other people have devoted our careers to this, and we're going to continue working on it until we succeed.